Hello everybody and thank you for joining me today. My name is Gabriel Brent and today we are going to talk about overcoming the dark side of trading. Just so that you guys know a little bit about me, I've been investing for about 16 years and I've really been day trading for about the last seven or eight years. Uh, I teach uh, investing at uh, major universities like UCLA, University of Kansas, um, online at, through different university hubs and things of that nature. Um, I'm also a programmer by nature, so I have developed all the software that you see or that you're going to see here today. Uh, I'm also the trader behind everything that you're going to see here today. So I know that this stuff works, okay? So that is a little bit about me, but uh, as always, there is a risk with trading uh, futures, stocks, ETFs, currencies. So uh, trading is not for everybody, but uh, I really recommend everybody practice in a SIM account before going live and make sure that your strategy works in, in a SIM account before doing so. Okay, with that being said, let's get into the topics of the day. We are going to be talking about the enemy of all traders and how to overcome those things. Uh, we're going to be talking a lot about price action and advanced price action, which is the name that I chose for the company just because this is just a little bit beyond what you may have seen or read about on forums and, and different things in the way that we look at the bars. Okay, So it's really, really cool stuff. But uh, it's very, very basic. It all goes back to basic chart reading. Okay, we're going to be talking a lot about trend and uh, some amazing software that uh, we've recently developed to to really do that well and uh, all that kind of good stuff. So first off, let's know thy enemy. Who is your enemy? Is it the markets? Is it the institutions? Well, after so many years of experience, I would say that your enemy is yourself okay when we look at trading and I don't know where everybody is here uh, just out of curiosity how many traders here are brand new to trading if you're a brand new trader have yet to start uh, just go ahead and put a little yes in the questions box okay we have a, a couple of them Oh, oh, okay so there's there's actually a lot never mind my uh, questions box was a little too small as we look at trading, you know, what we have to deal with is not only being right in market conditions and in our, our contextual reading, but we also have to have that mental fortitude, okay, uh, of the challenges that the marketplace presents it, okay? So there's a number of ones, you know, the f getting stopped out just to see price moving in your direction. That's probably one of the most common things that I see happen with beginning traders, okay? And I can actually show you a really easy way to stop that from happening. Uh, it, it's a really, really cool thing, but it's the reason why it happens, and uh, I think you'll be pretty amazed by that. Uh, just the fear of taking the next trade after multiple licenses if, if you guys are struggling with your trading. You know, I'm sure you've, you've had those feelings. So a lot of that stuff is, is just part of the journey, okay? So it, I implore you not to give in to the dark side, but, but be calm and peaceful like Yoda, you know? What would Yoda be like if he was sitting in your chair trading with you, okay? What would he be like? So next off, I think it's really important that we realize what our weapons are. If we're going to be going into battle, <laughs> we need to know what our weapons are. Because if we don't know ourselves, then we don't know what we're really working with. Okay. So first off, really, really think that we have to be in tune with our business plan. Okay. Now I hear a a lot in the industry about, you know, trade plan, trade plan, trade plan, but it really goes beyond that. It goes into your business plan, okay? And I think we have to look at our trading as not just a uh, investing type of 
venture but as a true business because that's really what it is you know and if we don't treat it the right way then it's not going to go the right way okay so trade plans and business plans are extremely important and in the mentorship that we do here at Epizones we we really teach the business plan behind things but we also have trade plans too you know it's just part of the the whole business plan we're also going to be looking at the wisdom of price action what what has gone on in the past gives us a roadmap for what is going to happen in the future okay so with that let's dive a little bit more into the trade plans okay and here is our trade plan section of the website all right and in that you can actually view my trade plan you can view uh, these other trade plans and you know if you if you want to copy a trade plan so be it you know you can copy my trade plan uh, that's what John has done here okay so that's really what that's our starting off point in all of this is understanding what we're, our goals are understanding what our trade plans look like and our business plans and then getting started from there okay because it's it's really about the numbers and we'll get in that in just a little bit here as well okay next we need to listen to price okay we need to listen to our Jedi masters all right and our Jedi masters is price okay it, it doesn't have to get any more complicated than that it doesn't have to uh, be any more elaborate than that because there's so many different talking heads out there of uh, analyzing this and analyzing that and look over here and oh what about this thing in the news and what about that thing in the news like right now we're we're experiencing something that will will be in the history books as far as uh, the United Kingdom and the European Union uh, the decision could be monumental but is it going to go down in the history books or is it going to get vetoed we don't know you know how important is that event okay so but it doesn't really matter how important that event is because we're looking at making money now just out of curiosity here how many people are day traders in the room okay and if you're a day trader if you don't mind tell me what markets you watch that would be great because we're going to get into some live examples here a little bit later on but when we look at the technicals of what's going on right now as we get into some of the live markets you're going to see how understanding these simple concepts of consolidation and ranges and expansions really gives us a roadmap as to what's going on in the future okay so thank you guys for uh, popping up those I really really appreciate that that's really what we want to do is to identify the areas of price action and what those areas look like even before they happen and that's really where price action reading comes in and and for everybody here uh, this is this is a basic Academy for us okay it's called the price action school it's our Jedi trading Academy if you will since we're sticking with the Star Wars theme here okay and basically what it does is for a hundred bucks you are getting a four-week class with one of our trading mentors and I don't know about you but that is absolutely nothing I take at least that much in every single trade that I do at least that much <laughs> and then a few times over but uh, uh, anyway so this is a price action school you know and it's a four-week class uh, with a it, it's really a university type thing you know I, I told you that I am teaching at the university level well I want to make the coursework I want to make reading price action as objective as possible to take out all the subjectivity because you know you ask 10 different traders what the trend is and you'll get 12 different answers and you're like wait what <laughs> you know so we want to make sure that it is as objective as possible all right and that's really what the price action school does is it gets your feet wet into this realm of reading price action hence why we're doing advanced price action here so that's a little bit of what it looks like okay now 
we're also going to be looking at number three, which is the knowledge of support and resistance in supply and demand. Now, your high school economics teacher was actually a really smart person. And yes, maybe you fell asleep during economics like I did, you know, just to be like, oh yeah, supply and demand curves. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that looks good. Okay. But this stuff actually works out and we're going to see some real life case examples of this stuff and what the software is doing for us. Okay. Now, every single one of these zones that are plotted out, this is all support and resistance and supply and demand. Okay. And we're going to get into how those four terms relate here in just a little bit, but this is the basic idea. Okay. And as we look at these different levels, we are going to be seeing that every single one of these levels has a different size, and that is based upon price action, okay? Uh, that is based upon m dynamic markets giving us different variable change, okay? And software automatically drawing these levels out for us, okay? So all the, the levels with red text beside them, that's all resistance or supply. And all the numbers with like the green text, okay, is support or demand, okay? So as we move from high down to low, or from low to high, which let's face it, what's the main objective of your trading? It's to buy low and sell high, right? I mean, it doesn't get any more complicated than that. Like, it doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. So let's just keep it simple, okay? If we know where high is and we know where low is, and we know the movement, the general movement of supply and demand, then just jump on board. Okay, now we said that uh, there is a difference in between support and resistance and supply and demand. Okay, so for all you equation buffs out there, here's the equation behind it. Support and resistance plus time equals supply and demand. And, and when I came up with this, I was like, duh, you know, like, what do I have moving on my price chart? Well, I have price moving, but it's moving over time. Hmm, what a concept. <laughs> I mean, it was uh, like one of those light bulb moments where it's just like, ding, ding, you know. And it seems so simple, but yet it's, it's so amazing how this can elude so many of us, okay? So... What we do for you is we can identify all these areas for you, okay? Now, what makes up a zone? Well, it's the consolidation of price, okay? So if we know where consolidation of price is, then when we don't have consolidation, we should have expansion. Very, very basic stuff, okay? Next off, let's talk about our next weapon of probabilities, okay? Now, this is a little bit of the probability work that we go into in Epizones, and as you go through the, the mentorship and the coursework and, and all the education, this is something that we talk about a lot, okay? This is not only an edge, quote unquote, in the marketplace, but it is an edge in your trade management, okay? And I don't think enough traders really realize what these stats mean, okay? But what this is is 100 trades. We're just going to take a small 100 trade sample, and given the winning percentages as below, what's the number of consecutive losers, okay? You can see that two losses in a row is guaranteed, okay? It, it just is. Even if you're at 70%, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your trade plan, doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your your business plan or your strategy or your edge, whatever you want to call it, it's just statistics. And when I saw this, this was so groundbreaking because the APA community passed along this, this information here to me and I was like, dude, this makes so much sense. Why so many people fail at this is because, well, I'm just going to point the figure at myself and say, hey, man, I need to be right a lot. You know, I'm a dude. Uh, I want to be a, a good provider for my family. I want to uh, 
have enough money to survive and, and be giving in, into a whole bunch of different charities and stuff that we support. But when I take a losing trade, what emotions pour through my head? You know, does it make me question what I'm doing? Does it make me question my strategy? You know, and this made it so clear as to what's going on, okay? And this is probably the most important thing down here, but just remember that a losing trade is one trade closer to a winner, okay? So every time I take a loss, I know that this is true, okay? And it helps me stay in the right mindset. Instead of over trading or trying to scalp into profitability or, or some crazy thing like that, uh, there's so many different ways, you know, like what we were talking about, the dark side of trading, there's so many different ways that you can get in trouble in the markets. And so much of it is all based upon that emotional battle. Okay, so let's talk about stops and targets and, and the trend, okay? So we'll go back to this example here. Just a very, very basic example. Now, where do we put our stops first and foremost? Now, let's say that we enter after price is leaving the zone, and we're gonna wait for confirmation that price is actually leaving the zone, okay? We wanna put our stop right here or the better place to put it would be just above the zone, okay? And that is just because this is support and resistance, okay? That is what that whole area looks like. So this is more conservative, okay? This is more liberal, or I guess it depends on how you wanna define it, but this is gonna be a, a smaller stop but you need to take your target quicker. Now, where do you put your targets? Okay, well, that's a good question. Because the zones are the way that the zones are, they're on the smaller time frame, on your entry time frame, no matter what time frame it is, your first target can be the next zone of opposite type. It keeps it super duper simple. Okay, and that's really what we're all about here at Apple Zones is keeping it super duper simple. Okay, buy low, sell high. And in fact, my real thing that I like to say even more than that is I just buy and sell pullbacks in direction of trend. That's that's it, you know. Uh, that's as complicated as I need to get, okay. And by keeping it that simple, it, it helps me in my process, in my routine, all right. So the next zone of opposite type, if you look here at the Y value, you'll see like the little 10 beside there. That just stands for 10 ticks or 10 pips, okay? So quick little retest of these previous lows right here, and then boom, the next target's right down there, all right? And I can show you live examples of me doing this stuff and so many other people doing this stuff, but it's very, very basic type of things, okay? Uh, if we look at our, our trade plan and, and journals here, okay? Let me bring up this, you know, as we're trading and as we're going along, you know, this is, this is what's been done with uh, one of our, our uh, trade coaches here over the past month, all right? So you can see what he's doing, all right? Is it uh, an exponential curve? Well, absolutely not, but it's going in the right direction, you know, and he's just doing two two targets, two targets, two targets, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Simple and effective and efficient, okay? And he identifies all this stuff on our, our little mentorship journal here, okay? Trend follow, trend follow, you know, looking at stocks and futures and ETFs, all this kind of stuff. You can see all of that stuff here on our trade journal. And if you want the link, you should email us and we can get you the link to this form, okay? But you can see all this stuff for yourself. But I think it's really important that we journal everything that we're doing here because as we're looking at the trade, what's working for us and what's not working for us, all that stuff is gonna be brought to fruition and, and you'll be able to see like, hey, and, and I can actually see it in, in this too. His counter trend trades, when there's a little CT, 
most of the losses that he's experienced have been counter trend trades, okay? But when he does his trend follow trades, he can string out the, the winners like a madman. But when he gets counter trend, they don't always work out, and it's a lot less in winning percentage, okay? So we're going to teach you how to follow the trend the majority of the time like John is, okay? And, and actually myself too, I should put myself in that category. Um, so let's talk about time a little bit, all right? Getting back here to the presentation, we're gonna destroy overtrading. Now, just out of curiosity, how many people have a problem with overtrading? It, it's very common, okay? It, especially if you take a loss the first thing in the morning, it's very common to overtrade, okay? So I did a study about time a couple years ago and uh, I, I was measuring pivot points and you know just price action movements at certain times of day and things of that nature and after writing a few thousand lines of code and doing a whole lot of study in pivot points in time it came back to something so simplistic it again it was earth shattering and the, the little light bulb went Badoo! and what it was was at the tops and the bottoms of the hour, we tend to see major reversals and retracements. And if you guys aren't familiar with price action trading, that may seem like a, I don't know if that those terms make sense, but basically, you know, price reverses at the bottom of the hour, okay? Uh, or maybe price retests the low or the high of the market at the top of the hour or the first 15 minutes. There's something at the first 15 minutes that happens consecutively and it's like regardless of market there's something there okay and I, I've heard it said a, a whole bunch of different ways from uh, several different people maybe some people refuse to trade the first 15 minutes you know uh, maybe other people only trade the open you know so it, it's very, very interesting, but there's something there at the first 15 minutes. And now, obviously, this makes your chart look like a zebra, <laughs> and I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's really, really cool when you put it all together, when you put the time zones and the price zones together, okay, and you have trend with you. It, it does something absolutely amazing, okay? So let's talk about trend. Well, this is this piece of software here that's coloring the background from dark green to, to light green. This is a neural network that has been in development for about five years, okay? So it is very unique. Let's just put it that way. All right, so what it does is it takes price action attributes, let's just say, okay? And it takes 15 of them, and it measures them out like bigger bars. You can see the bigger bars highlighted by the, the black bars and the blue bars. It takes the swing points. It takes uh, consolidation areas, uh, all this kind of stuff, expansion areas. And it gives us a direction of trend. Okay, so you, if you can read the small, small little print over here, it says the trend is down and rangy with possible chop. Okay, so that's what the current trend is reading over here. And you can also see how the price zones come into effect. So I highlighted some of this stuff like, hey, if we're looking for a pullback, you know, look for this area to be a pullback here on this particular market. Uh, and then for targets, that would be a target, down there would be a target, you know. And, and so it makes it nice and clean, just like that previous example that we're doing. We already have the idea of, hey, we're in a downtrend, we're looking for a pullback, that's where we would be looking and waiting for the pullback to, that would be a target, and that would be a target, okay? If that was, if this was your entry chart, okay? Now, if it's your context chart, it's a little bit different than that, but it's pretty close to the same thing, okay? Uh, this zone will still be your target, but your first target would actually be smaller based upon whatever your entry time frame is, okay? And this target down here, it that may be what I like to call it a make it look good area, okay? So again, I, I like to keep everything very, very simple. So here's my daily prep, okay? Each trade, identify the trend. 
Is it trend follow, counter trend? We have the software. That's already done for us. Check. Okay. Then I identify my stop loss. Where is it going to go? Okay. What, on top of what zone or on bottom of what zone am I going to put it on? Okay. And then what's my biggest time frame? So then my T1 looks like a real quick scalp. Okay. And I take off 80%, 75, 80% of my position here. T2, I play the range. Okay, what I define the range, and we'll get into that in the APA training. And then T3, I make it look good, okay? But this target only gets hit about 30% of the time, all right? So when it happens, it's amazing, it's awesome. It looks really, really pretty. It looks like I really know my stuff, but it doesn't happen as much. And that's just the facts of life, okay? But this is where I live. This is, this is it, okay? So that's what happened today on CL, all right? Uh, I, I'm a CL trader, personally. Um, actually, I'm futures and forex, but CL trader here, and, and that's what I'm looking at, all right? So that's what this looks like, okay? Now, this software is, like I said, it's super smart. It, I was actually inspired by, have you guys ever heard of Watson? It's a, it's a neural network that IBM built. It plays Jeopardy, okay? So that's really, really cool. And, and I thought to myself, you know what? It's about time that the indicator world experience a neural network. We need something that can back test itself, that can optimize its own settings, and that gives you trend direction because the trend is too subjective, okay? Uh, we need something objective. So price action is the way I do it. I'm going to make it so it thinks exactly like me, and it can think like you. So this is what we call the Elite Package, and, and it's really, really cool. It can email you with alerts. It can text you with alerts, uh, all kinds of stuff. We have this wonderful uh, scanner piece of software, and let me see if I can pull that up here for us real quick. All right, so here's, here's the live charts, and let me flash my zones here just real quick so... I can get back to the way that I like to see everything, okay? So basically, here's my context chart, okay? My trend is down and trendy. Here is my entry chart. So those are the two different charts that I use. And again, this is just a very simple two-chart setup, all right? And I personally only trade two hours a day, and I think you can make a wonderful living only trading two hours a day. And if I didn't run the Appazone's business, I mean, that, that that could be my entire day, you know. And, and I know for several of the Appazone's users, that's that's it. That's all they do. They, they work two hours a day, and they're done. It, it makes for a really, really wonderful lifestyle uh, when you get successful and profitable at trading, okay? So let's dive into this just a little bit more. So if we know that the, the trend is down and trendy, all we're looking for is a pullback, okay? That's all we're looking for, all right? So on here, we have the elite package over here, and we also have 60-minute zones, okay? Now, as we were talking about before, what these zones represent are an areas of high and low, okay? And if we identify where areas of high and low are, okay, we can have an idea of where is, where is a good buy opportunity and where is a good sell opportunity, okay? Now, the overall trend is down, okay? So I'm going to be looking for a retest of like this aqua level here. And every time price bounces off of one of these zones, it changes a different color. And this works really, really awesome uh, because now that I know where high and low is, and I can see the space from this like 60 minute zone, and remember, all the zones that have the little red text on them, those are all resistance and supply down here to demand, okay? So I know that I'm in a downtrend, and so all I need to do is wait for the pullback, and then I take that short. And I know down there is I'm, I'm gonna be taking off targets. Okay, so it simplifies what I'm looking to do to a great de degree, you know. And the other cool thing is that it also allows us to forecast the markets because I know that this level is fresh and new, okay. So price should respect it in the, that general direction of trend. 
and I know that this level is fresh and new. So when it comes down here and bounces off of this level, there should be some sort of a, a decent bounce off of that level. Okay, there's also 60 and a 15 minute because I'm on a 15 minute time frame confluence. Okay, meaning that the zones overlap. Okay, or that they are inside of each other. Okay, to some degree. All right, so that's what I'm going to be looking for. Now, I can't tell you exactly where the bounce is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be off the 60 minute level right there or if it's going to bounce off that 15 minute level and actually this would be absolutely amazing so as price is coming down here have you ever seen this pattern before or it bounces up there just a little bit and then you're thinking oh man it's 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 found the bottom I'm gonna go long and then it goes boom, and then it goes boing right back up and a lot of divergence indicators will be like oh well yada 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 you know divergence detected well there's your divergence detected but I'm calling it out you know possibly even a few days before this actually happens but this is very very common you know and and this is why I mean we're gonna find support here and then we need to retest this level just a little bit lower okay and, and this is why the price is doing that divergence detected stuff, okay? So that's the power. This is just a little bit of the power that the software gives us, okay? So when price interacts with these levels, all of that stuff can be alerts for you, okay? If we know that the trend is down, we can come over here to our smaller time frame and we can drill into these little diamonds here, okay? Now, what do these diamonds represent? These diamonds represent when price interacts with these zones and gives us the price action here at the time of day okay so look at that one boom price bounced off of this that was the high of the day boom price bounced off of that at the time of day boom price bounced off of that at the time of day down here there's another interaction but we don't see a zone down there why why is that like where 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 did the level go okay well, that's a good question if we turn on this dead zone thing you'll see that okay and with all the different platforms that we support uh, there will be these active zones and these dead zones okay so we're just looking at these things to happen at our times a day okay so we only have a small chunk of time when we're really looking to do something all right so boom now if the trend is down do you really want to be taking this this green diamond here Probably not. I mean, this is a counter trend play. Okay. So I would say skip it. All right. We, we don't want to do that one. All right. But here, boom, at that time of day, man, this thing has been turning awesome today. Like, couldn't ask for any better example than this, but look at all these, these pivots at the time of day. I mean, that is fantastic. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I just thought that uh, I would share that with you because it, it happens like this every single day, okay? If we look at yesterday, you know, or the day before, you'll see a lot of the major pivots happening at these times of day. Boom, 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 you know? It, it just, it, it always happens, you know? So now, why is this stuff working the way that it's working? And, and that's really what we want to teach in our training and in our mentorship. Why? Why does the market move the way that it does? Okay, because we're not going to hide the elite system, the neural network. We're going to tell you everything that the neural network is going to be doing, okay? Because, again, we're trying to increase your sensitivity to price action. Okay, but we're going to do it in steps. We can't like say, you know, all at one time, download all this stuff. You know, you're not a computer. You can't download, you know, terabytes of information in a few seconds. We've got to give it to you in chunks. Okay, that are bite sized. So we'll tell you what all of this stuff is doing and, and how all these filters are working and, and how the ranking and the weighting system changes and, and how it optimizes itself and yada, yada, yada. All of that stuff is based upon what, uh, what I would consider a trader of you know, 20 to 30 years of experience would be doing in his head. 
I've gone after that with a vengeance, trying to unlock those things to take what a, a good 30-year-old trading vet goes through. Okay, what does my brain go through when I'm defining trend? You know, what are the, the processes? What are the routines? And lining all those things out. And that's what the, the education of the mentorship does, and that's what the education of the software is doing. Okay, so we're really, really big on education here, and we want to let you know why everything is doing it the way that it's doing it. So, you know, like if you go into a room of traders, uh, if you go in and walk into the pits, you, you can go up to, you know, the head trader in the NAS pit tech pits and say, hey, I'm here to trade. And, you know, you could give a lecture on, on the price action and what it's going to do, and it's it's absolutely fantastic, okay? So I'm going to let you meet the, the masters of the APA Zones mentorship, okay? First off, we have Michelle. Okay, she is our psychology guru, all right? She will help you with the emotional battles that you will face, okay? And uh, she does weekly sessions on the mental side of trading. Next, we have John, and you, you saw some of John's uh, trade results uh, when we were looking at that, that, those results that we were looking at a few slides ago. And then, obviously, you have myself, uh, and that is a picture of me, okay? Uh, both John and myself have been doing it well. I, I've, I've taught both of these people how to trade, and uh, they're experiencing success, and now they're passing it forward. So unlike in a lot of communities and trading communities, what we do differently is we want to pass it forward, okay? So the... The people that go through the mentorship actually become the mentors, okay? Uh, after you have successfully demonstrated six months of profitable trading, you get to become the mentor, okay, and pass it forward, all right? And that way, the community keeps on passing it forward and forward and forward. But these people right here are the people that are in charge of doing a lot of the education, but the one-on-one -on -one is handled by the community. The, the education is handled uh, by the community of people that you put yourself with. There's an old phrase that you are only as successful as the people you surround yourself with, okay? So that's what we really strive for with the, the Apazones community and in the education, okay? So just so that you have an idea of what all of this stuff looks like, Let's, let's go over here to the website real quick, okay? Again, we're not trying to hide anything behind a veil, but we want to make a, a community of successful traders, okay? And in your My Account area, you're going to see these different things. It's going to give you some events that are coming up. Uh, you'll see the software, the downloads. You have links to the, the trading uh, plans and things of that nature. Uh, then you also have access to a video library. So you'll see videos on how to read context or psychology, uh, the statistics that we we're looking at earlier. Uh, you see different uh, traders' interviews, uh, trading 101, all this kind of stuff. And when you do the mentorship, okay, you'll see the, the mentorship like this. It's 17 lessons, okay? And I'm going to open up one of these things here. So as we look at the lessons, you know, we'll look at the, the two different types of zones that we're, we're drawing here, reversal and continuation zones, and, and how to identify them, how to qualify the different levels, okay? Not all zones are created equally. You know, you'll, you'll see the homework in, involved, okay, and, and part of the curriculum with this particular lesson, okay? So all of that stuff is inside the mentorship. So... Uh, we just want to make sure that that you can see behind the veil. You know, we have a uh, a Skype room full of of traders here that you can join. All right. So all of this stuff is going on in the community. And remember, there's hundreds of hours of video training that you can do at any time. Uh, but we also have weekly live training sessions. And in fact, I'm going to 
invite you guys to join me for tomorrow's, okay? So let me click, or let me send you guys the link here. All right, so there's the link for tomorrow's registration. But again, you know, we're going to be teaching you through the mentorship and through the community how to do very simple setups like the money bounce. We haven't even talked about the money bounce, and I'm really sorry about that. Like, we, we just have so much information to cover here that I'm, I'm not really getting into the the deep stuff, but there there's, there's a lot of stuff that's going on, okay? So... We want to get into the simple setups of just the money bounce, you know, and the two zone setup, uh, trend line bounces, uh, all that kind of stuff. We, we we jump into those different setups and, and how we get a statistical edge off of those different setups, all right? So all of that stuff we teach you in the academy, all right? In the Jedi Academy, if you will, all right? So... I just want to thank everybody for joining me today, and we're going to be doing some special deals here, okay? First off, just for joining me in today's webinar, we're going to waive the setup fee for all of our subscriptions, okay? And the price action school, again, is only 100 bucks. all right? So you can have the price action school, which tells you all the education on how the zones were created, why the zones were created, what they do, and what they don't do, okay? And, and how to qualify the zones, okay? Based on reading and understanding price action, okay? It's all about the bars. <laughs> and again, there is no setup fee involved in that, and you can see the little promo code, okay? You can also learn about our elite package or our mentorship, okay? which is the neural network, that is actually the graduation gift of going through the elite training, okay? Uh, again, we show you how everything works, you know, and if you want to see all the, the bells and whistles here, I think this is absolutely wonderful. I have a market scanner that tells me for all the Forex pairs, and it alerts me when all of these different Forex pairs signal with the trend, okay? So I don't have to spend time looking at all these different markets. I can look at my, and this is for swing trading, okay? So this, this setup right here is right now set up for swing trading off the dailies, okay? So my context chart is saying for the Aussie Swiss is up and rangy. I concur. <laughs> Uh, it looks up and rangy to me, all right? Well, actually, it looks very rangy to me. The weekly would suggest to the upside, all right? So all of that stuff is included in the software, and then it just sends me alerts. Whenever there's a position to get in on my entry time frame, that's what this long and short column does. It, you can see it, it's all actively scanning right now, and whenever there's a live signal, it'll either blink green or red to tell me whether or not the, it is confirming support or resistance on the smaller time frame here, okay? So it makes trading super duper simple. So if you're like a, a swing trader or a hedge fund manager, we're just actively scanning this stuff over and over and over again. And it can email you if you want to, it can text you if you want to. Uh, all of that stuff is, is firing off of there. And in fact, uh, I'm an active member of this, uh, this website called TradingView, okay? And TradingView is an awesome platform that we are building into right now. And uh, we have everything automated with it too, so that we can instantly see different levels and, and how they are working out for us, okay? So this is a web-based platform, super duper cool. I really recommend you check it out. But uh, very, very nice and slick platform. And again, you know, like I can see a position over here and then I can share it on the TradingView platform just because it's, it's so well integrated. It looks like some of you guys have seen it before. That is pretty much what we have for today. 
this is the special that we are running. And, and if you think about it, we're all traders here. And with trading futures or Forex or currencies or stocks, you know, what is a hundred bucks? The opportunity costs of not spending the hundred bucks just to really learn the the bars, okay? Is is that really something that you want to do? I mean, just think about it. It could wind up costing you thousands of dollars if you don't learn how to do it well. Okay. And if you guys are struggling with trading, you know, we can teach you what we know and we can take you where you're at. Now with the mentorship we've had a lot of people go through it so we've really fine-tuned how every trader is different. You're different than everybody else out there. Okay, uh, You have different life experiences. What's risky for you may not be risky for somebody else. You know maybe you feel comfortable doing swing trading whereas Somebody else looks at swing trading and they just get all fidgety because they can't hold a position longer than five minutes without, you know, like having a little panic attack. You know? <laughs> so every trader is different and they come with different life experiences and we realize that. So our mentorship is really a one-on-one -on -one geared to you and it's going to take a couple months, but just from personal experience, having uh, a broker friend of mine called me multiple times and saying, I don't know what you're doing, but every single referral that you're sending over here is profitable. How are you doing that? That has been the biggest compliment that I've ever received. And it was from a broker of all people. So testimonies aside, like that was just super cool, you know, and uh, totally, totally crazy situation there. But anyway, um, so anyway, just ask yourself, you know, how many days in the last 90 days have you lost more than $100, you know? I mean, I, I lose several times over that when I have a losing trade. So if you're ready to turn things around or if you're brand new to trading, I think you should do yourself a favor and sign up for an almost free course if you think about it, you know? So that's what we're doing. And if you want to be involved, Go ahead and check out that website there. Also, feel free to join us for live trading tomorrow. We start at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm a futures trader for the first two hours, like I said, two hours a day. And then after those two hours, I switch into Swing Trading Forex. I will be posting links and answering questions here, but I just want to thank everybody for joining me today.